Pat Walker here with Mission Winners. It's Sunday, and once again, time to dive into the ETFs and maxless stocks. So let's go in and take a look. Here's the IBD 50. We always sort them by our organizing weekly on the left, daily on the right. Both charts are powerful. You can see that daily's facing up here, as is the weekly. But note here, you can say, oh, it's good on the weekly. There was some heavy, heavy selling on this bar on Thursday, okay? Lifted up on Friday on less volume, needs to see some power above that. But the weekly is still good. The trend is still intact. This is the eight period exponential moving average line. And remember this, trends pay. So the IBD 50, good proxy, looks fine. Let's continue onwards. Gold miners. Gold miners ran up and they dropped off some heavier volume coming in on the daily, and you can see it on the weekly too. Pretty big drop here, okay? Some selling pressure. What does that tell us? With gold miners, be a little cautious at this point in time. Gold, same situation. Big reversal bar on the weekly, heavier selling on the daily. The trend isn't over, okay? I'm not saying that at all. I don't forecast. I'm just saying at this point, there's not a lot of opportunity in gold stocks. Maybe it'll change, and if it does, we'll be ready. Biotechnologies, just basing here. Notice this, green bar here, some selling here. This was a green bar, but this is why at Mission Winners, we look at the open high-low close. Oh, it's a green bar, it's a good bar. It gapped up and it closed below where it opened. That signifies some selling, all right? What does that tell us? Just see if biotech, it's still in good shape, but just a little choppier here, and it reached old highs here and backed off. So just be a little cautious with biotechnology. Continue onwards, oil and gas, stay away. I mean, do a compare and contrast. You say, oh, this one's hanging in and this one's not. We don't have to overthink it. We have a limited amount of time, let's use it wisely. That's why we teach this stuff in Mission Winners and I share it with you. Stay away from oil and gas for right now, done. Here we go. Software technology is still good on the weekly, okay? little sloppier on the daily, some selling here and here, and it just says, eh, be a little cautious. Don't be overly aggressive buying software technology at this point in time. Continue onwards. Medicine, weekly, eh, okay. Daily, it's in a downtrend. It's below the falling 50 day. Be a little careful with medicine until it starts to take out these highs at around 58 or 57 bucks. Until then, be as I stated, be a little cautious with medicine. Let's move on. Here we go, aerospace and defense. There was some selling on this bar. Weekly still looks good, but that was some serious selling, folks. And it closed near the lows. It needs to see this base out here and start to lift up again. So what does that say? Just be a little cautious with aerospace defense. There you go. Home builders, stay away. Team, this is very important. This is for everybody. We don't need to overanalyze it, overthink it, over scrutinize it. Look what it's doing. It's below the falling 50 day. I said this at IBD meetups for years. The air is better above a rising 50 day moving average line. It's below the falling 50 day. Until that changes, be cautious with home builders. Done. That simple. By the way, why did that happen? What has a profound impact on the housing market? Interest rates. Interest rates. Good to remember. Very good to remember. S&P 500 growth still in good shape. Looks good. Looks good on the weekly, looks good in the daily. A little bit of a tail bar here, but the trend is up and that's nice. So what does that tell you? Well, it has told us, be involved in growth. Have we? Yes. Oh yes, we own a ton of growth stocks that are trending. And that'll be on another video too. Here we go. Russell's lagging a little bit. Be careful with that. By the way, here's the weekly, maybe forming a couple of the handle, but there was some heavy selling here on the daily. It needs to start showing some strength. There we go with small cap. Real estate, what does this tell you? Remember I talked about rising interest rates? Markets, housing doesn't like that. Well, they took it down here. It's below a falling 50 day. That's a green line. That's not good for right now. Be careful with real estate stocks. Housing stocks in general, transport, stay away. Weekly and daily trending down, just stay away. That's it. That's powerful information to know team. Again, it's great to know what to look to buy at areas maybe to buy, but it's also just as important to say, hey, I'm staying away from this. Narrows our focus down, improves our focus. And I like that. Emission winners is what we do, it's what we teach. Airlines, nothing going on with jets, just leave them alone for right now. 
Okay. Oh, here, dad humor. Yeah, they're grounded right now. I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's just a little bit below the rising 50 day, but there's some selling going on here. It needs to show some strength. Let's move on. Mid cap, just kind of basing here. There's a bigger picture cup here, as you can see on the weekly, but there was some heavier selling here, you know, on Thursday. Needs to start selling some life. What does that say? Just be careful with mid cap. Done. Oil services, stay away. I mean, team, we don't need to overanalyze this. Just look. It's below the falling 50 day, and it fell, or the curling down 50 day, and it fell on heavy volume. Be careful with oil service stocks. Done. Move on. Pharmaceuticals are hanging in there. There's a great big cup right here. Look at that. I'll draw this just to help you. And don't think also, oh, I've got to get it to the high, to the penny. No, you don't. Just major intersecting points is good. It takes out that line with volume. Maybe look to buy this or look to buy some pharmaceutical stocks. There we go. The leader is always. QLD still hanging in here. There's a pretty ugly reversal bar on Thursday. It was an ugly. Thursday was ugly. Serious selling and a lot of, lot of major stocks, okay? Kind of a warning sign at this time. Tells us just to be a little cautious. There we are. Still okay. Still okay. You know what's the best thing you can do? I already have an alert set. If this could base for a couple days and take off, that would be great. QQQ, same situation. Selling there. Retail, stay away. And by the way, I'm not doing this to be cute or funny when I say that. It's just that simple. We don't have to overanalyze it. It's below the falling 50 day. There's no power. Leave it alone. Leave it alone for right now. Until this starts pushing through the 50 day, you just got to leave it alone. That's it. And you can say, well, this doesn't look bad here. And I'm going to refresh this just to make sure. This doesn't look bad. Okay. But then I look here at the daily. It's below here and it's falling. Just be cautious until this starts to lift up again through the 50 day. There's, there's better places to put your money or look for. Silver's hanging in, not too bad, okay? But a pretty ugly reversal bar on the weekly, all right? Needs to show some power. But on the daily, it's nice. You see this? Maybe it's going to base out here and take off. By the way, I'm not being negative on it. Folks, the trend is still up. The trend is still up. It's just pausing a little bit. And that's okay. It's actually healthy. It's like, it's like a horse. A horse needs to catch its breath before it runs the next race. Same thing here. Steel's kind of lagging, nothing real power there. Semiconductors, oh, look at that. Are we involved in semiconductors? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many we own. But it's working. And it was telling us on the daily and the weekly, look, hey, that's an area to look into. And it has been an area to look into. Continue onwards. We're about done here. Spiders, uh, there was a pretty big reversal bar here with heavier selling volume. But the trend is still up. Let it base out. And that'd be nice. SSO, same as SPY, it's good. Solar, this is why I do what I do here at Mission Winners. You say, oh, the daily chart looks really good. Yeah, I agree. But then you look at the weekly and go, holy Toledo, there's some, there's some overhead supply on that beast, isn't there? Yes. So what does that tell us? If this base is out and forms maybe a little handle and starts to lift, that could be a potential buy. Wait and see, though. But there's a lot of overhead supply in here. So no, there'll be sellers overhead. There we go. Continue onward. Small caps lagging, really nothing to do with it. Leave it alone. Oil services, our U.S. oil, big cup and a handle on the weekly, but it's way down here. And it looks ugly. It's below the falling 50 day. Here's a great investing maxim for everybody. Try to focus on entities that are above the rising 50 day. It'll really help you. Just better. Biotechnology is lagging, not a lot of power there. Be careful with that. Home builders, another home building ETF. Rising interest rates, not a lot of power there. Be careful. Materials, how do you build houses? Well, you need materials. It's okay. All right, it's okay, but it needs to show some power lifting off the 50 day. Continue onwards. Communications doesn't look too bad now, does it? Look at compare and contrast. Eh, that's all right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? There you go. Now, no. It fell on fairly heavy volume here, right? And it started to pick up. It needs to come across these tops. And I'll draw a line for you. And it's not fancy. That's what I like. It's easy to see. There it is. It, I see it. You see it. It's nothing fancy. Just going sideways. Now, there was some selling on this bar. 
The best thing yeah. this could do is this could handle out for a while, for maybe several days, potentially be an entry on it if the market's okay. There we go. And we're almost done. Energy, stay away. I mean, do a compare and contrast. Oh, this is near the highs, Pat. Yep. Oh, this it isn't. There you go. What does that say? Stay away from energy and energy stocks. That's power. It's, again, good to know what to look at and things to stay away from. We systematize. Admission winners, we systematize. Folks, we all have the same amount of time. Nobody has more time than anybody else. But it's how we use the time, use the time wisely, that separates us from others. And that'll help you, too. Use it wisely. It'll help. Continue onward. Financials are kind of choppy here. Be careful with that. Industrials still basing out, but a little choppy. Be careful. Technology isn't as bad now. Look at that. But check this out. This one's just basing. Oh, this baby hit highs for the week. Check that out. Weekly highs. Technology. Gosh, I wonder if we're involved in technology. Yeah, I think we've got a total. We've got a ton of them out there. That I'm not bragging. It, it guided us to that. It told us, hey, you might want to look at them. And we did. Continue onwards. Consumer staples is kind of hanging in there. Um, there's no real clean entry here. So just it's it's okay, but there's no clean entry. Um, healthcare, that hanging in, but no really clean entry at this time. But it's not a bad looking chart, daily or weekly. Consumer discretionary. There's healthcare. Doesn't look too bad. Look at the difference. Below all the moving averages and it's falling. What does this tell you? Stay away from consumer discretionary stocks. Okay, that's important. Be aware of that. You can punch up XLY and find out what their top 10 holdings are. And then you'll say, oh, I don't, I'm not involved with any of those. But gosh, I've got one that is kind of related to that. Better take a look at it. There you go. Watch price and volume action. It'll guide you. XME, metals and mining hanging in. Not too bad. Oil, leave it alone. Another energy stock, leave it alone. Retailing. Now we're talking about the consumer, you know, and interest rates and things look a little sloppier. It's reflected right here, too. Look at that. Boom. Taking it down. Be careful with retail stocks. Done. There we go. Software, not a lot of power at this time. Got to be a little cautious there. So now let's move on to the max list stocks. Here's Apple. All right. And the weekly, kind of trending up. A little bit of selling here on Thursday. All right. Here's the night. This is what we'd like. You see these tops across here? If this could base out, maybe form a handle here, that would be constructive. And then when it lifts off, it needs good volume to offset the selling pressure on this. No real clean entry at this point in time, but maybe this week one will develop and we'll be ready at Mission Winners. Continue onwards. Amazon, look at the selling in this. Can you see this? They're selling pressure. Not heavy, but they're selling. I don't see a lot of green bars in here, folks. Tells us to be a little cautious with Amazon. What do we need to see? We need to see this lift off the 50 day, which is the green line. Push through there and do it on volume. That will really help. But you look at the weekly too, selling pressure here and selling pressure here. Close near the lows on the weekly chart. We need to see some power. Until we do, stay away from it. That's simple. Alibaba runs up on the weekly, take it right back down. Daily, look, it goes up, they take it right back down. Support on the rising 21 day. It needs to base here and then get a bounce off the 21 day. That's the blue line, by the way. And I need to clarify. That's the 21 day exponential. Needs to bounce off of that with volume. Okay. Until it does, be careful with Alibaba. Continue onwards. Google. Google's trended here. Okay. But it got a little sloppy here and it's just chopping around. Let this base out and maybe it's going to form a pattern in here that would be a good entry. At this point in time, it's just a little too choppy. Right. But it can change. It can change. Goldman Sachs trending nicely. This is owned. And this is beautiful. Look at that trend. Isn't that great? Look at the volume pickup on that bar right there. You want to see something great? And mission winners, this is what we do. Simplicity. Simple base. Lifts through tops. Doesn't on a pickup in volume. It's lifting off the rising 21 day and pushing off the rising ADMA. And we buy. And it trends. Look at the trend up the ADMA. This is for everybody. And I taught this at IBD meetups. Good trends pay more with less hassle than anything else you'll do. You don't have to make all kinds of fancy decisions. Let it work. Where's it going to stop? I don't know. Nobody knows. But trends pay. And you sell a little in the strength to guarantee profits and also lessen control risk. 
Is there an entry at this point in time? Not yet, but give it a couple more days. It may have one. We'll see. MasterCard, do a compare and contrast. Oh, that's trending up. That looks good. I ain't doing nothing. Leave it alone. That, oh, maybe it's going to bounce. I don't want to play the maybe game. There's nothing there. It's below the 50-day. Here's a very important investing maxim. The air is better above a rising 50-day moving average line. I, I don't mean to be cute and funny. It's just the truth. When you say to yourself, I'm really going to kind of lean on that a little bit more, your investing results will improve and never argue with price. Meta is still below the falling 50-day. There's some tops across here, all right? Slight volume pickup. This was a great run back here, by the way. Look at that. Is that that's, that's sweet potato pie right there, folks. That was on the key list. Right now, it's chopping. There was heavy selling right here. So it needs to push above the 50-day, and it needs to do it with really good volume, and we need a good market also. Till then, wait. Microsoft is just chopping around here. Needs to push above here. I have got a price alert set. Needs to push above there with volume. But it is loose. It's a little choppy up here, so be cognizant of that. Don't force buys. And, oh, I'll say this. Give this a couple more days. I think it'll look really good. It'll look much better. So watch and see. Netflix, we own from lower, down in here. There's one spot. And, you know, it's, it's a good start right here. Simple basis. I love simple basis. You can see on the daily, I see it. But then look at the weekly tops right here. Nothing fancy. That's it. It's simplicity. And it really helps. Continue onwards. NVIDIA. We own NVIDIA from back here. We made videos on this. You can go back on our library, Mission Winners. You won't catch me in a lie. We made videos on this back here. We talked about this before it broke out. We talked about this a lot. Okay. And yeah, it worked out pretty good. Now it based here and then it starts to pick up again. You buy some and we're in great shape. Also, this is an important lesson. You say, man, that gap up's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That's investing through the rear view mirror. That doesn't work. Always remember this. Be careful. Be more cautious. Owning a bunch of stock uh, that has earnings coming out. You say, boy, it really paid off here. I could show you countless examples where it doesn't. Always control risk. Always control risk. Be aware with earnings. It looks fine right now. Here's what I'd like. Base out a couple more days. And guess what? Forms a pattern. It could be a new buy or we'll buy more. We'll watch and see. We sold some into strength, so we're in good shape. We'll see what happens. Control J, NVDL, same situation, in good shape. Working, has been working. There was an entry back here for us. Okay. And, you know, working. We'll see what goes with it. Oh, yes. And let me clarify. Did we sell some into strength before earnings? Yeah. Sure. Because, oh, you shouldn't have done that. It went up. Um, yeah. I, I, my crystal ball is in the shop. I don't know the future. And I don't take big positions into earnings ever. I got clipped years ago to six figures and it wasn't fun. So, you know, I just, we manage accordingly and it helps. Square, block, nothing. There's nothing there. Leave it alone. It's below the falling 50 day. Move on to the next one. We have a limited amount of time. Something very important from a psychological perspective. We have a limited amount of time. We have a limited amount of money. Use both assets wisely. I teach these things at Mission Winners, and I show these to everybody to help you, to help use your time wisely. It's, you know, important. Nothing there with Tesla at this time until it takes out these tops. I have a price alert set, okay? But note, it's, there's a ton of overhead supply here. This is why I like weeklies. Look at this. Tons of overhead supply. Be careful with this. By the way, you see that little base right there? That was a good buy right there in June. That was a good move. But right now, it's a little sloppy. Here's the weekly now. This is what you call overhead supply. So we've got to be careful with it. You see the highs on this bar and the highs on this bar? Be nice to take that out. Now, here's there's highs here too. By the way, you also notice, I already have a price alert set. And notice, it's not at the high of this bar. It's a little early. We'll see what happens. There was some power on this bar. A lot of overhead supply. Just something to watch. A little bit more aggressive. And there's Visa. There's nothing there. Pretty sloppy. You know, I would like it if it would base out. 
Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.